Welcome to the teen summer kit, the prehistoric bath bombs. I'm so glad you guys picked one up today. First thing you're going to do is open your kit and make sure you put on your gloves. This gets really messy. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to dump in the baking soda. You want to make sure you include all of it. It's the full cup. And then the next thing you're going to add is the contents of the Tupperware, which is a half a cup of cornstarch and a half a cup of citric acid. Next, take your hands with your gloves on and run your fingers through it and get rid of all the lumps. You want this to be smooth like fine sand. Next, you're going to add the color. Hopefully you have um, the dry color, but if not, you've got the wet color. You want to add your wet color and it's going to cause a reaction because the citric acid, once you add water, it's going to react and bubble. So you must mix it in as quickly as possible. Mix the color in slowly, but remember it's going to get darker when you add the oil. So any color you do add, just keep in mind it will get darker. Next we're going to put in the oil. Make sure that you put in the exact amounts. You want to make sure you don't add too much. When it's done, it should look and feel like dry sand. It'll clump together, but just barely. It's always best not to add too much oil. Then you're going to start putting it in the mold. Pack one side a little above the top of the mold. You'll do the same with the other one. We'll see this in a minute. You want to maybe, hopefully, place a surprise in one of the bath bombs. Layer the bottom of the mold with your mixture. And then you're going to take the little dinosaur that we gave you and place the dinosaur on top of that part that was packed in the top. And then take more mixture and place that on top of that, filling the second half of the mold again above the line of the mold. And then you're going to take the two halves and smash them together, pushing out all the extra mixture until the two sides are close to touching. You don't want to have any extra in between. Then let that sit in the mold for a minute or two. You want it to set up for a little bit. It needs to slightly harden. Then carefully pull the top half off. It'll look hopefully nice like this. I had to do it several times before I got good at it. Then gently take it and tip it over out of the other side of the mold onto a place where it can dry. This may take a while. You may have to go through and make several attempts before you end up with three beautiful bath bombs like I did. They're going to need 36 to 48 hours or maybe more to dry. After 24 hours, my half bath bomb was still very crumbly. I hope you guys enjoy this and hope you make some fun bath bombs and hope you guys will, will see you in September. Have a great summer and turn in your reading logs. Make sure you get your prizes. I'll see you guys again.